Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Daily D. My name is David, and if you haven't liked my YouTube page, go down there and do that now. Subscribe so you get notifications for videos just like this. Now, today's topic is really the word discipline. Now, don't don't shy away from this because this is a good topic. So discipline really is, is such a negative word in today's, you know, let's say environment or today's world. People think discipline, they think punishment, they think beating, they think negative. And for the most part, you're kind of right if you've thought that. I've thought that before as well because discipline is when you get in trouble, somebody tells you you should have done that and then they punish you. That's usually what we consider discipline. Now, discipline can be seen that way or it could be seen as an avenue or a vehicle for getting the things that you want in life. Now, I'm going to tell you something about discipline that you may or may not know, but most importantly, discipline is something that we must have but not from outside forces, it's from ourselves. You see, it's what we expect or want from ourselves. So for an example, discipline is something I can see in others and so can you. For, for, for a real good example is when you see somebody who is in very good shape, they look like they work out, you know that they are a what we'll call disciplined person. When you see somebody who is very religious and practices their faith every single day, you know they are a disciplined person. When you see somebody who has a very large savings account, (laughs) you know they are a very disciplined person. Now, why do you know that? It's because they have induced or have put behaviors in their daily routines that have disciplined themselves to get those outcomes. So what I will tell you about discipline is the more discipline that you have, the more likely you are to achieve your goals. But secondly, the more discipline that you have, the more likely you are to receive opportunity. Now I say that because when I look at somebody, and so do you, regardless if you admit this or not, when you see somebody who is very well disciplined, you are more likely to want to do something with this person. Meaning you may want to offer them a job or you may want to partner with them or you may want to have them on your team or you may want to be their friend or you may want them to be part of your family. (laughs) You get it? Because you know through self-discipline they have done something great and disciplined people means they're probably reliable, they're probably dependable, they're probably somebody you could look up to, they're probably somebody that could teach you, they're probably somebody that you know will what? Get the job done. You know, you can typically see somebody's discipline in just their appearance. You can see it right away. When you see somebody who's in good shape or in in great health, you already know they've got some good self-discipline. So why am I sharing this with you? It's because self-discipline or discipline in general is something that we need to work on every single day. We need to achieve success through discipline, through telling ourselves what we need to do and getting it done. And I don't believe that many people believe that self-discipline is something that is important because, well, quite frankly, it's just, it's just David, I just want to do what I want to do. Well, I'm here to tell you that the more discipline you put in your body, into your mind, into your heart, into your spirit, the more likely you're going to not only achieve your goals, but you're going to be given opportunity. The more opportunity that you have in your life, the more likely that you'll achieve your goals. You see, I, I, was, I was in a meeting about maybe five years ago. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a stranger to working out. I'm not going to say the most fit guy in the world or in the room most cases, but I had, a, I had somebody who had just joined our team from a, an investor standpoint. And I asked him, I said, man, so tell me what it is that you think we are going to do together and why you think this is going to work. And they said, well, to be very honest with you, I've been following you for several months and I saw that you were very um, committed to getting up in the morning and going to the gym. And I saw that you were very committed to, to following through with your phone calls every morning. And I saw that you were really committed to your team. And I said, well, of course, well, that's my business and that's what I like. And he said, no, no, no. When, when I see that, that tells me that there's something inside of you that drives you. That, that pushes you. That you're willing to do whatever it takes to be successful. That you're disciplined. And I said, well, I mean, I wasn't trying to show you those things. And he goes, but I, don't, I didn't need you to show them to me. I saw them. And because I saw those things in you, I'm willing to make an investment. Wow. What a beautiful thing. 
You see, somebody saw something in me that I didn't see in me just because of my own discipline. So where am I going with this, right? So where are we all heading? Discipline doesn't have to be a negative. It's just you telling yourself what you need to get done every single day. You see, we all know what we need to do, right? We all know what we should do. Y'all have heard me say this, right? You know what we should do, and then there's what you're going to do, right? We should do these things, and I must do these things. Well, the must is what we need to change in our lives. We must do some certain things. And I'm here to tell you that the more discipline you get in your life about the things that you want, the more likely you are going to have the things that you want. The more likely. So how do you create discipline? Very simple. Set a goal. That's number one thing. I can't, I can't express how important it is to write down what it is that your goals are, right? What are your goals? And, and then second thing is know the things that you don't need to do anymore. See, see discipline gets you away from <clears throat> situations where you could lack <laughs> or you could not follow through with your commitments. For an example, discipline says, I'm not going to go to dinner tomorrow night like I always do on Friday nights and have that big dinner with beers and drinks and, you know, with the same people I always go to with. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, and so you tell yourself, I'm not going to do that anymore. And then you don't do it. That's discipline. You say, I'm not going to, I'm going to show up tomorrow at the office early because there's a lot of work that I need to catch up on, right? And then you say, I'm gonna do it and I'm, not, I'm gonna go to sleep early tonight. I'm gonna make sure I go to sleep early so I'm not tired. That's discipline. And if you do that consistently, you see, you get whatever you want. Discipline people get whatever they want. I'm being serious when I say that. So if you haven't already made a plan, here's what you need to do. You need to determine what it is that you need to discipline yourself to do. You need to make a plan for those goals, which is whatever it is that you're trying to do because the discipline is usually a goal. When you get that goal in your mind, you have to really tell yourself why it is that you really want it. And then you have to take persistent, continuous action every single day to avoid distractions, to avoid the minutia of the world so that you can go out and become a more self-disciplined person. See, the self-disciplined person doesn't need anybody. It's the word is self doesn't need anybody to tell them what or what not to do or her not to do. They already know and then they make the decision themselves. You don't need to be punished. You don't need to be told what to do. You don't need to be given instructions every day. You need to have batteries included. You need to come at it with a with the mindset that you can make yourself do whatever you want to do. No one else. Because if anybody else is going to do it for you, well, you're never going to go very far. You shouldn't expect somebody to come turn you on every morning. You should be turned on. You should expect to be the best you could be because of what you decided to do, not because of what somebody else wants of you. And that's really, last note here, that's really why children today, you know, don't become what their parents want them to be because the parent wants it more than them. They didn't teach them self-discipline. They taught them, let me tell you what to do, son. Let me tell you what to do, daughter. Let me tell you how it's going to be. Let me tell you what you should do. That doesn't work. A child, a person, an individual needs to make their own decisions and they need to self-discipline themselves to go out and get it. So teach your kids self-discipline. Teach yourself self-discipline. Go out and make a decision what you want and then make a decision you won't settle for anything else. I hope this helps you and I wish you nothing but success today, health, wealth, and most importantly, freedom. Thanks.